Hey parents, in today's video, I'm going to go over 16 gestures every child should know by 16 months of age and how you can help give your child the best start possible. Hey, it's Morgan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Passable Parent Channel. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years specializing in early childhood development, and I'm also a mom. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure to comment down below if you have any questions. I love to hear from all of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Good communication development starts in the first year of life and goes far beyond learning how to talk. Child development experts recommend children to learn at least 16 gestures by 16 months old. Good communication development starts with social interaction with parents and other caregivers during everyday activities. Your child's growth in social communication is important because it helps your child connect with you, learn language, learn play concepts, and sets the stage for learning to read and future success in school. Good communication skills are the best tool to prevent behavioral problems and make it easier to work through moments of frustration. Research on brain development reminds us that earlier is better when teaching young children. Research with young children indicates that the development of gestures from 9 to 16 months predicts language ability two years later, which is significant because preschool language skills predict academic future success. Children should be using two new gestures each month between 9 and 16 months of age. The first gesture your child should be learning is shaking their head. This typically happens around nine months of age. At nine months, children's earliest gestures begin to develop from their actions and the reactions of others. Children first learn to take an object. Then, as they're able to control their hand movements to release and drop an object, they gain experience from their parent holding out their hand to catch it. And they learn to give. Children learn to shake their head to indicate no by turning away from food they do not like and then looking back at their parent's response by moving the undesired food away. The second gesture your child will learn occurs around 10 months, reaching and raising arms. At 10 months, children learn to reach through exploration and experiences with others as they reach to take an object and to be picked up. As they learn to anticipate the reaction of others, they use a reach gesture as a signal, first with their arms reaching out and then with their open hand facing up and with their arms raised to ask to be picked up. At around 11 months, your child will show and wave. At 11 months, children are motivated to share their interests with others. They learn to hold up and show objects to get others to look and notice what they're interested in. Children are also motivated by the social experience of greeting and everyday routines where special people are coming and going. They learn to wiggle their hand to wave and a mature wave develops later. At around 12 months, your child can learn to open hand point and to tap. At 12 months, children use an open hand point with the fingers spread and a tap with the fingers together as a gesture to draw the attention of others to things of interest. At this age, children's gestures become more intentional and are often made with emphasis. These gestures are now also accompanied by grunts or early speech sounds. At around 13 months old, your child should be able to clap and blow a kiss. At 13 months, children begin to learn through observation by observing others and copying what they do. They learn to use gestures such as clapping their hands and blowing a kiss by watching others and imitating them. The gestures and words children are exposed to shape their vocabulary and drive their interest in learning. You can start practicing clapping your hands and blowing kisses with your little one so that they are able to learn these gestures. At 14 months of age, your little one can learn to use their index finger to point and make a shh gesture. At 14 months, children point with their index finger to reference things at a distance, a sign that observational learning is solid and they are on the cusp of becoming a symbolic communicator. Children also use the index finger for the shh gesture. Their growing repertoire of gestures propels the use of their spoken words. At 15 months, your child can start using a head nod, a thumbs up, and a hands up. At 15 months, you see symbolic gestures that are like words a head nod or a thumbs up to indicate yes, a wave in front of their face to indicate stinky, or a hand up to indicate wait. Gestures now reflect not only what the child is thinking about, but also that they know they are sharing ideas with others. By 16 months, your child can learn other symbolic gestures as well. At 16 months of age, other symbolic gestures develop, such as, I don't know, 
high five, or even the universal peace sign. Having 16 gestures is a critical milestone to launch language and learning for your child. Watching the growth and sophistication of gestures tells you a lot about your child's symbolic communication and whether or not to be concerned if your child is not yet talking. While the specific gestures a child learns may vary depending on their family or their culture, having 10 gestures by 16 months is a critical milestone for all children because it launches them from early first words into a vocabulary burst at 18 to 21 months of age. Children now get the idea that everything has a name and that they learn new words rapidly. The richest moments for early language learning are when the child and caregiver are sharing attention on the same thing and the caregiver talks about the child's interests, creating opportunities to learn that stem from social interaction. If a child is not using these early gestures, then the parent may not have the chance to respond and follow the child's focus, which in turn limits the child's opportunity for both language learning and social connectedness. As a child's gestures are developing between nine and 16 months, you should also see other social communication milestones, the use of eye gaze and facial expressions to share attention and emotion, an increasing rate of communicating with sounds and gestures, a wider variety of actions in play, and an emerging ability to comprehend the meaning of spoken words. If these early social communication milestones are not solidly in place, it is likely that language will be delayed. So if you have any concerns, it's always best to reach out to your pediatrician. Addressing concerns quickly helps give your child the best start possible and prevents further delays. I hope this video was helpful and gives you the tools to help your child learn 16 gestures by 16 months, which will actually help improve their speech and language development. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos on all things child development, parenthood, and giving your child the best start possible in life. And if you have any questions for me, make sure to comment them down below. Thank you so much for your time today and your support. I hope to see you in the next video.